is on Netflix, let's start the video now. Fatal Affair on Netflix has an ending which finally brings to an end David's character, played by Omar Epps, campaign of terror over Ellie, played by Nia Long. The Netflix movie seems to bring the story to a happy ending, though not all viewers are convinced that there will not be a sequel. At the halfway point of the Netflix movie, we learn the identity of the two people seen dead at the start of Fatal Affair. They are David's ex-wife and her new boyfriend, and of course David is the one who killed them as his revenge for Devorah leaving him. Just as this crime scene looks to catch up with him, he is also set to be arrested for attacking Courtney, played by Maya Sturgeon. David sets fire to a homeless man in order to fake his own death. This sets up an ending where David is on the radar and on the wall path with Ellie. David then sets up his endgame. He lures Ellie away from her home, then breaks into her house to tie her up with her husband Marcus, played by Stephen Bishop, and the daughter, Brittany, played by Aubrey Cleon, as well as killing the later's boyfriend. Before we get a full confirmation that David is really dead, the actual end of Fatal Affair seems to be a happy one, with Brittany going off to college as Ellie and Marcus move on with their own lives. Viewers who expected a tease for a fatal affair too, perhaps a shadowy figure watching the trial, will be disappointed as Davis did not reappear after we see a body on the beach. However, as we have previously seen that David is willing to kill other people to fake his own death, it could be that he has done it again, especially as we only ever see the body on the beach from a distance. Thank you for watching the video till end. For more Netflix movies, web series, reviews, news, and updates, please visit our website www.releaseonnetflix.com. And if you liked our video, hit the like button and share it with your friends. To stay updated, please subscribe to our channel, Release on Netflix.